Just about started my latest adventure, a cycle tour in Colombia, a place I've always wanted to visit and a good place to escape again the Europe, Europe's winter, which was getting a bit cold. So I already had a little cycling yesterday, only did about 20 kilometers to get from the town of San Gil to Barichara, which was really a stunning place, beautiful. And no wonder it's well known for movie makers as an ideal place to shoot uh, uh, period, period piece dramas because uh, the old town is really well maintained and about 300 years old. So as I said, we start a bit slowly. I need to get adjusted to the altitude. As you can see, I'm panting already and it's not a terribly steep climb. And just visiting Boyaca, which is a quite a famous land for Colombian road cyclists. Lots of mountains here, nice roads. And then I will move on to Bogota, where I will visit a few days. And then it will take me about 10 days to go from Bogota to Medellin. Climbing, I think it's 3,600 meters of Altos de Letras. So I hope you follow me on this journey. Let's go and let's see how Colombia is. Muchas gracias, Adriana. Es muy amable. Así que hasta, acá, hasta, hasta luego, gracias. Que estés muy bien. Chao, chao, chao. Gracias. I suppose it had to happen. There were three or four small dogs in a little farm and they start chasing me and one of them actually grabbed a little bit my leg. So the first thing I've done is just stop at this house just a little further where this kind man has given me some alcohol and now he's actually giving me a friend who is a doctor apparently he's giving me his number in the next village. Oh thank you so much. 
Doctor Jorge Enrique Moreno. Doctor Jorge Enrique Moreno, Moreno. hoy va. El celular. El celular. ¿Puede demandar a la policía o...? Sí, a la policía le puede preguntar. Sí. Todo el mundo lo conoce. Ah, perfecto. Every no, everybody sí. knows en el, him. En el centro de hoy va. Near to the church. ¿Eh? Near the church. Near to the church. church. Sí. Muy gentil. No. Muchas gracias. Llega hoy va. Sí. Entra así. El pueblo es pequeño. Sí, 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 sí. Parque principal. De... Sí. Y ahí... Doctor Enrique Moreno, todo el mundo sabe. Que Perfecto. Es. Sí, okay, sí, sí. No more dogs, please. <laughs> y Thank you. Y take care. Yeah, I yeah, will. Some people, so many people from Venezuela. Oh, people, I see. You have to take care of this. I will. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> What are the chances that the worst climb I had to do is right after I got bitten by the dog? <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too long to go. After I climb this mountain, then it should be all the way down to Oiba and the doctor. <laughs> Looks like the top there, but I don't want to loot myself. There's an update after visiting the doctors. I was very, very nice and uh, of course, luckily he let me jump ahead of the queue. And his son spoke English, which helped because he didn't speak much English. And uh, well, they've just cleaned the wound. They said uh, it's not too deep, hopefully. Uh, but first they said I would have to go to the hospital to get uh, uh, an, uh, an injection against tetanus and uh, but then they were really nice again and just arranged everything in the clinic so clean the wound is infected people went off to wherever they had to to get uh, the vaccine And then he said, uh, well, he gave me antibiotics, he gave me an analgesic to take every day. He did recommend that I should uh, rest one to three days. But as you can see, I'm already cycling. I don't want to be too reckless about it, but I have a short 20 kilometers flat to get to the place that I reserved. And tomorrow also, I think the old day would be 40 kilometers. So we take it day by day, I will see how I feel tomorrow and uh, take it from there. After a couple of days, I would have three days when I'm not cycling, when I'm in Bogota. So that will give me a bit of time also to recover. So well, here we go. Always stop when you see dogs. Don't try to escape from them. I hope this is the last challenge of the day. I booked this very nice guest house, but I had read it as it's actually not very easy to reach. Ooh. I don't think the doctor would agree with this. Ah, it's muy lindo aquí, eh? Muy bueno. Yeah, la, yeah, la, la paz. Ah. 
Ah, tranquilo. <risa> tranquilo aquí. <risa> si no quiere hablar conmigo, no. me dice cállese. <risa> Mira, hay que quitarle ese. Ah. Mire, ese es el café. Ah. Vivíamos felices cuando... Cuando la economía era el café, ahora la economía es de otro, de otras, de otras, de otras orígenes, sí, de otro, sí, sí, sí. no muy lícito. Por ejemplo, el narcotráfico, la trata de, sí. de, de, de personas, la, eh, la trata de animales. I had very good news coming from my hill this morning. Antonio was my host last night. Again, most kind and helpful. He took me down in the morning to the local pharmacy, which works as a paramedic in the village. So that I could buy some more bandages and disinfectant. But also she dressed the wound again and checked it. She said it's very shallow. And despite the doctor yesterday being very cautious and saying I should rest three days. She said if I feel up to it, uh, I shouldn't stop cycling. Which is great news. Because I would have been quite sad to have to cut this short for a little dog biting me. Well. I suppose I, w I was quite lucky. Hopefully the injection um, as a precaution gives me also a bit of uh, peace of mind to continue this trip and to keep on meeting people that I meet every day here in Colombia. Just most generous people that you can imagine despite all the financial difficulties that most of them go through in their daily life. So it's another beautiful day and I'm really happy to continue. ¿Cuánto es? Mil pesos. ¿Eh? Mil pesos. Mil pesos. El calor hoy. No, no, es bueno, ay. Tómaselo. <risa> Gracias. <risa> ¿Cómo se llama la rana? La rana. Rana, sí. Ah. <risa> Bravísimo. Hay talento, hay talento.
Like a candle, I just burn away. All we really have is time. All we really have is time. I don't wanna waste it. Take it with anybody but you I don't wanna waste it on anybody Take it with anybody but you Muchas gracias Para toda bicicleta? Toda, todo tipo de cicla. Eh, libres, fijas, MTV, viajeros. Oh. A todo el mundo se atiende. Hay mucho talento. Demasiado, demasiado. <risa> y disfrute Colombia, parcero. Saben que bienvenido. Muchas Hay mucho gracias, para que tal. conozca. Mucho. Demasiado rápido para mí. Si 
siempre tan fuerte mi necesidad por ti la primera mirada que yo vi fue la misma que me diste en aquel despedir aquel Tu mano en mi mano, todo me lo sabía decir. El dolor me ha tan fuerte de ti no quería soltarte no podía dejarte ir el miedo a perderte no me dejaba respirar no podía aguantar que ya no as you've seen, exit in Bogota was actually really easy. There are loads of uh, cycleways, and the traffic was actually coming into the city, so there was hardly any traffic anyway. So I think there will be quite a lot of traffic most of the day until I reach the mountains, and then hopefully, you know, it won't be too bad. So anyway, looking forward to this part of the trip. La
about starting uh, the climb to Altos de Letra so I think it probably take me a couple of days to do because it's uh, I think it's around 80k and it goes up to 3600 meters uh, from I suppose I'm not sure but probably around 500 meters I'm now so quite a big jump but uh, I'm well trained after 10 days cycling and uh, five of them were quite uh, at altitude as well which helps training the lungs as I go higher uh, humidity uh, should get less and less hoping for the weather to hold just left uh, Fresno half an hour ago where well, weather as you can see is now great today uh, it was raining I actually waited to see if it stopped but it was never stopping so I said I might as well just get wet and start it got a bit better now it's still drizzling very lightly uh, 
I'm quite lucky today because all I can do is 15 kilometers to get to 2,000 meters. Uh, I'm a bit worried because it's quite a long, I think it makes it about 35, 40 kilometers tomorrow to get to the top uh, of the pass, 3,600 meters. I wish I could go a bit further today, if I could get a bit closer, but unfortunately they don't have any, there are no hotels after that little village where I will be staying. So, but I guess, you know, with this weather today, quite happy to have a short day. And uh, of course, really hoping that tomorrow the weather improves a little. Uh, at least it's not raining, because I don't fancy being up high in the mountains uh, in very stormy weather. Here I am on the final stage of Alto de Letras. 40 kilometers uh, climbing and uh, going up to 3,600 meters. And uh, yesterday was just a rainy day and uh, had a short stage. And today I was thinking, you know, I was really hoping the weather would be much better. And I've been really blessed, it's incredible. It was foggy last night, very foggy this morning, and suddenly in a matter of 10 minutes, it just opened up and it's sunny. So it won't make the cycling any easier, but uh, as good condition as I could have hoped for.
only 200 meters to gain. It's a bit surreal up here, wonderful. There's this uh, mist all around. And I do struggle for uh, every pedal stroke, I'm stopping quite a lot. <coughs> but I'm really happy that I'm making it. That's it. Now it's 80 kilometers going down. All the cyclists are here to take a picture with the signpost.
Mucha lluvia aquí, ¿eh? ¿Siempre? ¿Sí? No, no siempre. ¿No? Oye, está triste el cielo. Ah, está triste. ¿Por qué? No sé. Something on my mind. Finally not afraid to say it. I know it took some time. You used to read it in a press release. What I was going through but I got stories too the fear of being last like everybody knows when you don't if every feeling passed then why am I still stuck with this one I should see Catch it when the moment's over I try to fill up though it's pouring over Cause I have reached a point where nothing matters And I'm signing up this open letter I go down in blue And that will be on you Now what is going on? I'm on the final day of uh, my tour in Colombia and uh, I stayed in uh, El Castillo which is a guest house uh, in the town of Santa Barbara just above Medellin and uh, as you can see very interesting place uh, it's been built uh, by the owner Francie who is a very very good uh, host and what a better view this morning That's something that I will always uh, remember about Colombia. All these low clouds, the fog, these big green mountains. So just very appropriate uh, to have my last stay in a place like this. ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> and here is Francia coming with uh, my last <laughs> Colombian breakfast. <laughs> Thank you, Buenos Francia. Buenos días. <laughs> Si quieres 
puedes creer que te puedo traer la luz del sol y las estrellas si quieres depender de mí que te ilumine a ti energía no te hagas ilusión no quiero ser tu salvación tampoco soy tu rey 